afternoon. Good afternoon. So members of the media, Wolf, Ash, and I will bring down the mics to you. Two questions for reporters. We'll kick it off in Tamar. Go ahead. Hi, thanks, Susan. Hi, Mayor. Hey there, how are you? I guess uh, let's talk about the casino. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like the older people can't agree. Um, what's next in this process, and uh, are you concerned this might become like the war? Fight again. No, I don't think so. I, look, the, the, the thing that people have to keep in mind is um, 30 years of futility, right? The, we started trying to get a casino um, early uh, during the tenure of, uh, of Rich Daly. Um, we finally were able to get it done because uh, the circumstances were right. And the uh, pension. When you announced the vaccine mandate back in August, you said it was a question of legitimacy for the police department that they would agree to follow this order and to protect the people of Chicago <clears throat> from infecting them with COVID-19. With that number of officers who have received an exemption from the vaccine, what do you say to Chicagoans who are concerned that may, they might be exposed to somebody who is unvaccinated and potentially transmitting COVID-19? Well, I, I've talked about this issue at length, and I just said, and I'll repeat it again, um, it's important for us to maximize safety in a workplace, particularly with first responders um, who are going out um, and treating people, EMTs, um, but also police officers. I believe that they should be vaccinated. Um, and But if they, as the law requires, if they've got a legitimate medical exemption or re re legitimate religious exemption, they're entitled to that under the law. But the vast majority of our police, fire, and all of our city employees are vaccinated and have complied with the vaccine mandate. And that's important. How about new, bastard?